Aquilops is an early herbivorous, ceratopsian dinosaur, dating from the early Cretaceous of North America, approximately 109 million to 104 million years ago. The rostral, the bone core of the snout beak, curves downwards and has an arched keel on its top with a bump on the front. Some researchers estimated the total body length of Aquilops at 60 centimeters and its weight at 1.5 kilograms. The Centrosaurus was a stocky dinosaur with large strong muscles. While not the largest dinosaur of its family, only 20 feet long, it appears a lot like the modern rhinoceros. It had a curved nasal horn, which often curved inward or outward depending on the species. Its frill had two small hooks that curved forward. This one-horned dinosaur became extinct with many ceratopsians around 79 to 75 million years ago. This period lies in the Campanian age of the late Cretaceous period. This is evidence that these dinosaurs became extinct before the Cretaceous Paleogene. What is this? Scientists have discovered a new horned dinosaur. The newly identified genus, Coriaceratops wasiangensis, lived about 103 million years ago. Coriaceratops was a herbivore. It lived in the Cretaceous period and inhabited Asia. Its fossils have been found in places such as South Korea. The paper's abstract states that the tall neural spines of Coriaceratops, Montanaceratops and other Ceratopsians may have evolved multiple times as a possibly adaptation to swimming, but in the body of the paper they state that the evidence that these dinosaurs were regular swimmers is equivocal. The Cosmoceratops was not the only dinosaur included in the new paper. Also described was the Eutaceratops. With a less remarkable array of just three horns, the animal is notable mostly for its size, 6,600 to 8,800 pounds, and 18 to 22 feet, compared with the 5,500 pounds. It had a triangular beak with a pointed tip and a blade-like nasal horn with a flattened upper portion. It had a triangular beak with a pointed tip and a blade-like nasal horn with a flattened upper portion. While the horns above the eyes were oriented forwards or hindwards in most of its relatives, Pachyrhinosaurus was one of the largest ceratopsians. A typical adult grew to measure about 23 to 26 feet, 7 to 8 m, long, stood over 7 feet, 2.2 meters, tall, and weighed about as much as 4 tons, 8,000 pounds. These herbivores possessed strong cheek teeth to help them chew tough, fibrous plants. The Pachyrhinosaurus is capable of being utilized in many situations such as taming, hunting and getting past dangerous areas due to its abilities to enrage wild creatures or to hide itself and its owner. All species of Cetacosaurus were gazelle-sized bipedal herbivores characterized by a high, powerful beak on the upper jaw. At least one species had long, quill-like structures on its tail and lower back, possibly serving a display function. It had short arms and long grasping hands, and it walked biped ally on two legs. It also had a small head without a neck frill or horns. But like all later ceratopsians, it had a high palate, the bone and roof of the mouth, flared cheekbones, and a deep face with a parrot-like beak. Styracosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur, reaching lengths of 5.5 meters, 18 feet, and weighing about 2.7 tons. It stood about 1.8 meters, 5.9 feet, tall. Styracosaurus possessed four short legs and a bulky body. Its tail was rather short. Styracosaurus was a genus of herbivorous ceratopsian dinosaur from the Cretaceous, about 76.5 to 75 million years ago. This is a type of dinosaur that somewhat resembles a triceratops. However they have only one horn, the one on their nose that is longer than those of a triceratops. Eudinoceratops is a genus of large leptoceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period of Mongolia. The description of the ceratopsian dinosaur Eudinoceratops is based upon the discovery of an almost complete 60 cm long skull a herbivore with a large body as a fellow of the Protoceratops. Its lower jaw is very big, and its squealing is short.